Namaste, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor Light. So, you know, Fridays are healing days, and we're going to do prosperity healing. Now, before we do this, let's just kind of clarify what prosperity healing is for. Uh, the title of this was Purging Poverty Consciousness Thoughts. And we just want to start by identifying what do you mean by poverty consciousness thoughts? Well, you are the soul. The soul produces thoughts and emotions just like I have a computer, I'm the operator, I use the computer to create data. I have an image, uh, an Excel sheet, uh, you know, an essay, whatever it is. So I'm the operator using the machine to produce images, letters, math equations, whatever it is. It's the same way the soul creates emotions and thoughts. The soul uses the emotional body to create feelings, a mental body to create thoughts. Why is this important? No, because you've heard me say this so many times. Until you get to that part where you, have, you realize I'm the one creating it, we always think that things are being done to us. Of course, we're responding to what's happening outside, but we have the choice on how to respond. So before we start, let me just, um, just clarify what we mean with that. So when a person has poverty consciousness, most people just think, oh, just being negative, that you know, they're letting the economy affect them, or uh, they believe in Murphy's Law, whatever could go wrong, could go wrong, whatever. That's just the external part. You have to first examine, what is my response to what's going on? For example, the way I, my teacher taught us many years ago, my, our first example of um, first teaching on how to have prosperity consciousness. He said, normally when people try to sell you stuff, what is the number one reason we give to get rid of a salesperson, if you will? Oh, I cannot afford it, right? He said that alone is poverty consciousness creation. You go, well, number one, either it's true or number two, you just say that so the person doesn't bug you anymore. But you see, but you're sacrificing your well-being. You say, well, how could that be? Okay, look at it this way. As you keep thinking that, that's like a thought you created that's sitting like a cloud sitting in your aura. Then next time you create another one, another one, it becomes a habit. For you, it's no big, it's just a thought. Before you know it, what happens? These thoughts and emotions are now clouding your entire awareness. So anytime you look at a business opportunity, every time you look at your finances, you're looking through this filter of all these poverty conscious thoughts you've created before. No wonder you feel pessimistic. Make sense? So, let's start off with how do you correct it? So his first lesson to us was, instead of saying you cannot afford it, you say, it's not in the budget. Now, it's, you're not lying. Whether you can afford it or not, whether it's in your budget, whether it's in your bank account or not, you're just saying, hey, whatever you're selling, I'm not going to allot anything to it. You see, when you say a budget, a company could have billions of dollars, rupees, pesos, whatever the, the money uh, <laughs> they're using, but they don't want to assign a certain amount of the funds towards that project. So it's not budgeted for it. So that you're doing the same way. Somebody try to sell you something you don't want, it's not in the budget. Or you can simply say, I don't want it, period. But to give excuses that sacrifice your consciousness well, you're creating your own future misery. And I know some of you go, yeah, but it's just, you know, I don't really mean it. I just said it. That's exactly the point. Why do you think people suffer? They cannot, oh, <laughs> okay, I'll try to be kinder in this one because some people think I'm too aggressive. All right. But it's just like, oh. if you cannot even watch the thoughts you create, the feelings you create when you're not stressed, how are you going to create positive thoughts when you stress out of your mind? The key is to have a doorway. Keep guard of the doorway of your mind. Otherwise, you keep saying, oh, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I just said it. I don't mean it. At some point, those thoughts become part of you. Those emotions of helplessness about money become part of you. And then you complain. 
Make sense? The key is to watch it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to think that way. In fact, I remember my teacher, when he was telling a story, he said, there's this person, watch this, there's this person who is going through financial difficulty. Instead of saying, and that person said, well, I'm going through, he said, and that person said that he is going through financial pain. He was very, very clear, okay, this person is going through financial pain, but he did not say, I am. He said, that person. You say, well, what's the difference? Oh, a huge difference. He's observing the thoughts that he says, make sure it's not referring to himself. Again, you're going to have people say, well, they're just a bunch of words. I don't really mean it that way. It's the intention. Oh, yeah, right. No wonder you're suffering. The key is to be the master of your mind, your emotions, and your body. We're not perfect, but we're constantly striving towards it. And when it comes to money, most people create their own problems. There's already a situation in front of them. Let's say financially, they're not doing so well. And then the negative thoughts, the emotions they have, that they create, just compounds it. That's why it's hard to dig themselves out of a hole. But if you start out every day by just watching your consciousness, okay, okay, okay. The finances might not be where they are or where they should be. However, I'm watching the thoughts I create so that I'm going to focus on the possibilities. I'm going to focus on the fact that the future is bright and there are many opportunities I can still make more money because blah, 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 whatever. Your attitude changes completely. And because of that attitude, the positive thoughts you create will now push you towards what you want. Make sense? It's not one of those positive affirmation stuff and just say it, but deep down you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're crying and you're rotting. No, you just say, okay, okay, okay. Whatever the situation is, how are my finances? If it's good, great, let's make it better. If it's not doing so great, that's fine. Let's course correct. And you start your course correction by the thoughts you create and the feelings you create because those two determine your action. Now, what is the purpose of what we're doing now? We're doing a meditation to bring down lots of divine energy. Same thing with emotional healing. We just first open up the heart and crown even more, allow that divine energy to come down, and use it as a fire hose to strategically disintegrate these thoughts and emotions out of our aura and chakras. Simple as that. But that's not going to do anything for you if you don't keep watching the thoughts and emotions you create. It might help you a little bit because at least it gives you a, a fresh start. Just flush everything out. Oh, okay. It's clear. Right? After meditation, your mind is clear. Your emotions are clear. That gives you another reset, another reboot so that when certain thoughts are going to come up, you know, your old habits are coming up, okay, stop. Disintegrate those negative thoughts. It's harder if you're in a cloud of it. Make sense? So as you join us in these meditations, we're at least doing a quick reset. And then you see the crystals, you just kind of flush everything out. And then afterwards, just watch your thoughts and watch your words. Somebody tried to say something or, you know, somebody trying to have you invest in something you don't want. Don't give stupid excuses. Just say, no, thank you. Why? I don't want to. Or if you're a guy, you can always use your wife as an excuse. Well, I got to ask my wife. Hey, just kidding. When, when I was in sales many years ago, that's the part, that's what you call a one-legged presentation. You give a presentation to a guy, wife is not there, you go, oh, man, this is going to be tough because he can always use that excuse. And they say, oh, I'm going to ask my wife because we love each other. We make decisions together. You can't do anything about it. I know some of you have techniques, but you want to respect, you don't want to break up that marriage because of you getting a sale, and you don't really know if he meant it or not. Anyway, that's beside the point. But just watch your conscience. Just say, no, thank you. Yeah, but you know, they try to sell you. You go, it's my money. I decide how I spend it. Period. So you got to exercise your will. <laughs> All right. Shall we? I hope that helps. I know it's a short uh, lecture, but it's one of those things that was tough for me when I first started. I had to keep watching myself. I'm, you know, used to saying, oh, Okay, okay, okay. Not in the budget. 
or you're out with friends and, um, you know, people like to joke about being broke, right? They love doing that. You watch your consciousness, don't join. As much as you want to be part of the group and, yeah, you know, stop yourself. Stop yourself. You'll notice you stop yourself from, you know, making jokes about being broke once, twice, after three or four times. You don't do it anymore. It becomes part of you. Creating a good habit. Same as creating a bad habit. If you have a bad habit of always cursing your finances, well, guess what? After we do meditation, we disintegrate it. Now start creating a good habit of always saying, hey, my finances can get better. If it's already better, it's going to get even better. That's it. Shall we? To the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother, to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, and spiritual helpers, personally to my teacher, Master Talk Hoksui, Maha Gujumeli, we thank you for divine light, divine love. Thank you for your compassionate, purifying life and soothing healing energy. To my teacher, Master Talk Hoksui, Maha Gujumeli, humbly ask for your blessings in full faith. So it is. All right. You know the routine. Put your hand together. Affirm who you are. By the way, why do we always start with this? Because it's not the body that's meditating. It's the soul. You are the one meditating. So as we affirm that first, you're going back to who you are, what you are, and where you come from. From a position of power. That is your center. That's the only way that you can really have control over what thoughts and emotions you create, which will affect how you act. That's why we start there. It's not just to, oh, let's do that affirmation thing. No, it's an affirmation to help wake you up to who you really are. So you're starting from your center. Okay? I am that. Just be aware of your crown. I'm not the body, not the emotion, the thoughts. I am the soul. I am a spiritual being of divine intelligence to regulate the thoughts I create. A spiritual being of divine love to regulate the emotions I create. A spiritual being of divine power to regulate the actions and movements of this body. I am that, the soul, the spiritual self, the thinker, feeler, and mover. I am connected in one to my higher soul. I am connected in one to the divine spark within me, the divine spirit in me. I am a child of God. I am one with God. I am one with all. There is only oneness. Be still. Open your hands in blessing. We'll do the meditation twin hearts as taught to us by my teacher, Master Tuakok Sui. Be aware of your heart in your hands. Fill the earth with beautiful pink light through your hands. Just imagine the earth in front of you filled with pink light. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Wherever there is hatred anywhere in the world, let me sow unconditional love. Where there is injury, let me sow pardon and forgiveness. Where there is doubt, let me sow faith. Where there is despair, let me sow hope. May all those who are suffering be blessed with peace, with love, with a spirit of forgiveness to forgive themselves and forgive others and ask for forgiveness they have hurt. May they be blessed with hope and with faith and a better life. So be it. Where there is darkness, let me sow light. And where there is sadness, let me sow intense joy. Just be with your heart in your hands. Just say our hearts are one. And in this oneness, may all be blessed with peace, with love, with a spirit of forgiveness, with hope and with faith, with light and lots of joy. So be it. So be it. And so it is. Now be aware of your heart. Take a deep breath. Be aware of the top of your head, your crown. Exhale. Stay there. 
Our crowns are filled with so much golden light. Allow the golden light to just flow down through your hands and fill your home. Bless your family with golden light. You know, your relatives and friends, people you work with, let that golden light just keep spreading throughout the entire world. They say our souls are one. From the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and with kindness. Let all be blessed with great joy and happiness, with understanding, harmony, and divine peace. May all be blessed without exception. So be it. Blessings be to all. Now, be aware of your heart and your crown simultaneously. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Imagine golden light even brighter than before flowing through your hands and filling the entire earth. They say our hearts are one, our souls are one, our spirits are one. From the center of the heart of God, through my soul, through my entire being, may every person, every being on earth be blessed with love and with kindness. May all be blessed with inner peace, with inner healing. For so many who are suffering, especially in Turkey, Syria, Iran, Ukraine, and different parts of the world where people are going through troubling times, may they be blessed with hope and with faith and a better life. So be it. May all be blessed. So be it. May all be blessed with understanding, harmony, goodwill, and the willingness to do good. So it is. So it is. Now, if you know anyone going through financial problems, challenges, and difficulties, visualize their finances improving. May they be blessed with abundance and prosperity and the wisdom to use their resources properly. So be it. So be it. So it is. Just be aware of your heart and your crown. Take a deep breath and fill the earth with even more golden light. May all be blessed. So be it. Now gently lower your hands. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Just be still. A few inches above your crown, imagine a brilliant light, like a miniature sun. Just keep looking at that light. Be aware of the love within your heart. Send a stream of love from your heart up to the crown and into that brilliant sun. And stay there. I am that light, that light am I. I am that radiant being of light. That radiant being of light am I. I am that self of light. That self am I. Be still. Oh. Oh. on that brilliant light. Meditate on your true being. And just simply let go. And let things be now. Meditate on your true essence. Being a brilliant light.
Maintain your stillness. Maintain your awareness. We'll utilize this brilliant divine energy to dissolve, disintegrate any poverty consciousness thoughts in all your energy centers. So just listen and let the energy do its job. The liquid divine energy is pouring down to your crown. Any negative thoughts and emotions about money, prosperity, and abundance are dissolved, disintegrated, extracted, expelled in near salt water or violet fire to you. Your crown is highly energized, highly activated. The liquid divine energy is pouring down to your forehead, to the air between your eyebrows and the back of your head. Your entire brain and your, all your head centers are being cleansed. All poverty consciousness thoughts, no matter how minute, are dissolved, disintegrated, flush out in the near salt water by fire to you now. The liquid divine energy is pouring down to your throat. Your throat centers are being purified. All energies of worry about money are dissolved, disintegrated, extracted, expelled in the salt water too. So be it, a violet fire. The liquid divine energy is cleansing your heart, your front back soul plexus. Any stress, anger, resentment towards money or money equivalents are dissolved, disintegrated, expelled in the salt water violet fire to you. The liquid divine energy is pouring down, down to the base of your spine, your basic chakra, your prosperity center, prosperity center. The liquid divine energy is entering deep into your basic chakra, disintegrating, dissolving, dismantling any poverty consciousness thoughts, conscious or subconscious, from this lifetime before, dissolved, disintegrated, extracted, expelled, the nearest violet fire, violet fire or salt water to you now, so be it. Your basic chakras are deeply being cleansed, so be it. The liquid divine energy is pouring down to your entire aura. All your chakras are being purified. All poverty consciousness thoughts dissolved, disintegrated, extracted, expelled in their salt water or white fire to you. So be it. Just be receptive. Cut, 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 disintegrate. Just be receptive. Just allow the energy to keep flowing through you. Be aware of your crown, your hands, and your feet. Feet. Just let it flush out of your system. Om. 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 All negative energy is cut, disconnected. So be it. Just be still. Just same letting go, letting go of all these negative thoughts and emotions, and the poverty consciousness energy is completely, totally, permanently out of my system now. Cut, disconnect. Now picture yourself being prosperous and just as importantly prosperous and being so helpful to other people in need. Using that abundance and prosperity not only to improve your life and the life of people you love and also just going out and helping people in need. That's how you show gratitude for being prosperous is to help people in need. And as you help other people, more prosperity and abundance come into your life. And so it is. Raise your hands in blessing. Just picture the people you love, fill them with golden light. May all be blessed. Let the entire earth be blessed. So be it. May all who are in need be divinely blessed. So be it. Let the entire earth be blessed. Now be aware of your feet and the base of your spine. Project golden light down into the earth. Let the entire earth be blessed. So be it. So be it. So it is. Let our beloved Mother Earth be blessed with divine light, divine love, and divine power. Blessings be to Mother Earth. So be it. Let's give thanks to the Divine Supreme God, Divine Father, Mother. Thank you to all the spiritual elders, holy masters, saints, archangels, holy angels, spiritual helpers. Personally to my teacher, Master Sokok Sri Mahaguji Meling. Thank you in full faith. And so it is. All right, open your eyes. Observe your thoughts and emotions. Feel a little more positive about your finances. Some of you go, yeah. And some of you go, I just don't feel anything. It's just blank. That's a good start. 
now populated with prosperity consciousness. As in, watch what you think, watch how you feel, watch what you say, and choose only prosperous thoughts. That's it. Okay, now if you feel like, yeah, but there's still some in there, just do this meditation again. That's why we leave it online. So you can just press play and just keep flushing it out. I highly recommend you have salt water or you should know this already. Every time we do healing, a salt water bucket with, you know, maybe a bucket like half uh, water and then a handful of salt and just flush it on the toilet when you're done. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have it and you do the meditation, have a visualize a violet fire, a violet fire, just flush everything out. All right, so you'll notice that part of um, the last part of the meditation, the blessing, is we want to bless people. We're not one blessing. We're allowing the blessings to flow through us for people who are in need. And right now, I'm sure you know of Turkey and Syria where people are suffering. Uh, so many have passed and you know, have died already, and then uh, the people who are left behind are going through difficult times. So uh, let me just share with you again, Love for Humanity uh, is an organization started by our students here in Southern California that have a feeding program as well as um, giving help to areas in the world wherever there's a calamity or a need. So you're welcome to give to that. Just go to loveforhumanity.org. On top of there, it's a button you just click, love for, okay, not F-O-R. So it was already taken. So loveforhumanity.org. And all the money goes towards, um, well, most of it, there's a little bit left for expenses like accounting, you know, the accountant, we have to pay them, and they have to pay for credit card fees. The rest go towards charity work. Nobody gets a salary, okay? So if you want to contribute to that, uh, you're welcome to, okay? Love for, let me show it again, uh, at least in some platforms, loveforhumanity.org. All right. Thank you very much uh, for allowing me to serve you. Uh, next week, I'll be at Tony Robbins' event, and uh, I'll do my best to maneuver it so we can still have our meditations. Namaste, everyone. You all take care. God bless, and we will see you next time. Take care.